this video, we're going to create code in Google Apps Script that checks the sheets in a workbook and looks to see if a certain sheet name already exists. And if that is the case, what it will do is delete that sheet and then recreate or add a brand new sheet with the exact same name as the old one that contains updated data. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. On this first sheet called order history, I have in columns A through D various order transactions for five different clients. To the right, I have the output of a filter function that performs a filter based on whatever client ID is selected from this drop down menu. I have a button that will run a script that will check to see if a sheet name already exists and the sheet names are based on whatever client ID is selected here. So it's going to store this client ID which will become the sheet name in a variable check to see if that sheet name already exists. If so, it's going to delete that sheet and then insert a new sheet and copy the filter results for that client to that new sheet with the exact same name. So I'll just show you a preview of this. You can see we already have this client ID, the one ending in three, this sheet already exists. Currently it has three records. Let's just say we update some of the data here. We add a new record. I'll just add a really large amount so it's obvious so you can see over here we have four records now but we need to update this data because this is pasted over as values so I'm gonna run this it's going to delete that previous sheet and then add a new one with the exact same name and you can see there is that new record that we just added on the first tab so the first thing we want to do is go up to extensions and then app script to get to the app script editor window. We'll call this function check sheet or sheets. Now to save time, I've already created the code. So I'm just going to drop it in here and quickly run through it. So we begin with some variables. We have a variable called SS for spreadsheet that is equal to the spreadsheet application and then get active spreadsheet to get the one we're in now. We have a variable for our order history sheet, the very first sheet. So that is just called sheet order history and that is equal to our spreadsheet variable we just created and then get sheet by name and the name of our sheet order history. We then have a variable called last row in column H because our filter function produces different amounts of rows here in our output and we need to dynamically always get the last row of the data we want to copy over. So that is equal to our order history sheet variable we just created and then get range H1 because that's the first cell in column H. We're going to use a method called get next data cell and that allows us to reference the spreadsheet application and then direction and down. That'd be like hitting control down arrow from H1 and then we get that row number that gets us the last row that has values in that column. So then we have a variable called new sheet name and that is going to be equal to whatever client ID number is selected in this drop down list in cell F3 on our order history sheet. So that is equal to our order history sheet variable and then get range F3, get the value and then you may or may not need this. I need this because the value in that cell is a number. We need to convert it to a string 
for it to be a sheet name. So if your value in your dropdown is not a number, then you may not really need this because if it's text, it's already a string. Then we have a variable called sheets and that just represents our collection of sheets in our workbook. So we have our spreadsheet variable and then get sheets and that just does exactly what it says it does. It gets all of the sheets. Right now I have kind of a blank template here so we have just one sheet. But as we add new sheets we'll get more. So then we have a for loop because we need to loop through each of our sheets and check each one to see if the sheet name is already in existence if it's equal to whatever's in this drop down list so it begins with keyword for we define a variable a counter variable called i and what this i is going to represent is each sheet in our workbook so sheets start at a value of zero so like this the index number of this first sheet is zero if I add a second sheet although the name says sheet two this is index number one as far as app script sees it so this is index number zero one if I add another one that would be index number two so that's how that works so that's why it starts at a value of zero and then we define how long we want this loop to run for so we want it to run so long as our counter is less than the length of our sheets and that is just like a count of all the sheets in our workbook then we have how much we want our counter to increment in well this i plus plus means increment in values of one then we come to this set of curly brackets and this is the action we want to perform while this loop is running so we have an if condition if our sheets which this sheets variable is think of it as an array of the sheets in our workbook so that is the collection of sheets when we put a bracket with our counter variable it's going to be whatever sheet we're currently on so this counter starts at zero so that's our first sheet so during the first cycle of this loop we'll be on the first sheet we'll get the name of that first sheet and test to see if it's equal to our new sheet name variable which is the value from our drop down list if they are equal then what it's going to do is this next line of code on our spreadsheet variable it's going to delete the sheet the sheet that we're currently on if that test is met if it's not nothing's going to happen this line of code will not execute and then it will run the increment will increment by one and it will move on to the second sheet and rerun this until it's finished the loop so after that whether the sheet is equal and it gets deleted or whether the sheet does not exist what we want to do is create a variable called new sheet so that's going to be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then insert sheet we have two inputs the first is the sheet name which is our new sheet name variable which we defined up here and then the second input is optional it's where we want to place this sheet in relation to our other sheets I just want to place it on the far right so what I'm gonna reference here is the length of our sheets so it's just gonna get the total count of our sheets and that's exactly what it says it is the highest count of our sheets so that's gonna place that on the far right after you know the highest sheet number index wise so then we have our destination range variable which is the range on our new sheet variable where we want to paste our filter output here that we're gonna copy 
So I just have our new sheet and then get range A1 because that's where I want to begin the paste. So then we're going to reference our order history sheet. We're going to get the range H1 through K and then we use a plus symbol to join this to our last row and column H variable. So that's really just going to go and capture H1 through K all the way down to whatever the last row is based on our filter. We're then going to use the copy to method and then reference our destination range variable that we defined up here. And what we're copying is formulas and I only want to copy values over. I don't want to copy formulas. So I have in curly brackets contents only set to true. Then with this new sheet, we want to get the range column B and set the format to a date format because that's our date column. And then column C, we want to set the, nor the number format to like an accounting style format because that's our amount column. So this should be everything we need to run. I'll go ahead and just run this once from the editor window. So right now, this is not going to delete anything. It's just going to add a new sheet because no sheets currently exist with these ID numbers. So I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to run this. We're going to have to authorize it. This is a one time only deal. So it'll just take a second because I'm recording my screen. So I'll get a prompt to authorize this. So click review permissions, click on the Google account you're using, go to advanced, click on the project name, mine is untitled, and then allow. So this adds a new sheet with that same sheet name as what is selected here. So let's say we add a new record and we need to update that same sheet. So I'll just add a new date here and maybe $10,000. So we have this sheet. You can see we refreshed the data here. So what I'll also do is go ahead and add a script button. So I'm going to copy our script name. I'm going to go up to insert and then drawing. We're going to draw a shape here. So we'll call, we'll just do a rectangle and something like copy results hit save I'm gonna click on this drop down here click assign script we'll paste that our function name in there and now I'll run this and what this is gonna do is delete the old sheet and recreate it with the updated data well, that is all for now. Thanks for watching.